아우. 아, just serve all of these. No, shut up. Well, there's something here. Where's growth? No access to Johan Ross's quarters. I will swallow you, so no, wait, no. No, most definitely not. Okay, so this is dispatch. Okay, Epsilon is offline, Theta is offline, Lambda is offline, Delta, Omicron. You know, it makes sense that everything is offline. Can I call? Okay, maybe maybe let's not call random places. Com logs. Oh, door lock. Okay, no no code to <clears throat> cabin A, but maybe maybe I can I can unlock that. That's cool. So uh, that gets us access to the infirmary. So if I want to get high on like high on like drugs or something, actually we cannot do that. We are a, we are a diving suit, so no drugs. I guess. God damn it! Li life of Simon sucks. No drugs. Oh, but we have. Oh no! You oh, fucking damn it! Is there any extinguisher out here? Any extinguisher that I can. Shut your face. If you're not an extinguisher, you're not allowed to speak to me. Why would I want to go... Why would I want to go back there? Well, I, actually, that's not back. That's... Why, why would I want to go here? Tell me. Tell me, little boy. Why would I want to go in here? Um, who's the little boy? I, I, I'm, I'm not making any sense. I'm losing my sanity. I'm losing my sanity. I'm starting to talk about people that do not exist. Shut your face! Why would I? No, fuck no! I'm not going there. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go into ocean. I'm not interested in ocean. Ocean can go fuck itself, as far as I'm concerned. Beep beep. I th this is all better now. What with? No, it won't. Yeah, actually, the beeping stops. So you you shut up. You don't know anything. No, oh, hey, ha look at here. It's a dead guy. What the fuck did we do? My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we can try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well this guy. Oh hey, looky here. Oh that's a cat that that's a that's a Catherine. Oh hey, hello there person. Do you Do you like life too? Okay, you you do you, just don't go crazy on me. I will give you a celebratory box. Celebratory box does not like you. I will attempt again, but I think insertion will not work in this case. I think you are box repellent. 
Yes, Box Box does not like you. I think I think I think you and Box will not be friends. Okay, that's that's the, as close as we're going to get. Have have pillow. Your pi apparently you don't want pillow either. <gasps> Holy fuck! Someone clip that right now. <gasps> Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Go, my. Fine, you you wait down here. I'll I'll catch up with you later. This is the level of my insanity now. When I saw a fire extinguisher, my instant reaction was <gasps> Everything is everything is so much better now. Why? The fire extinguisher does nothing. I you you're different. I am a sp Go I'm ahead. Make yourself at home. Oh I will. Thank you very much for the invitation. I will be eating your soul next. Can I help you with anything? I think you may be able to. Sarah Lindwall, payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda, the abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And uh, I'm the only living person you've met? <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed out? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun at Phi. Launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. Tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. If I knew you'd come, I would clean this place up a little bit. I still can't believe I'm the last one. That's crazy. Yep, it sure is. Would you stay with me, please? Sure thing. It as long as you need. Just, please, just stay. Yeah, I'm here. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Right. Wish I could have died at home with my friends. Oh, I mean, this is close enough. Have you ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. It was very beautiful. That place is burned up at rock. At least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes. There's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Uh, I think those 12 million are dead. Or rather, it was a great place before the comet ended it all. You know what? I prefer it this way. Mm. I liked 
pathos, like to my colleagues, Anne, Nick, Jasper, even Kath. Okay, what the fuck is moving around here? Most definitely. Don't let him die. Okay. Send them out there. To the stars. I think you're dead now. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. Good to know. <clears throat> Intercom. We could call these places. Why would I though? Oh, thanks. Okay, I guess Johan Ross's room is now open to us. And some pictures of people doing people things. Like this, for example. Corrupted data. Okay, sure. Let's restore all this stuff. Nutrition. Hey, wait, let's first look at the emergency food. A thorough look at what common chemicals and compounds found at Pathos 2 could keep you alive in emergency situations. Last accessed by Sarah Lindwall. So basically they resorted to just drinking chemicals or injecting chemicals rather than eating anything because there was nothing to eat like they ran out of food a manual on how to keep unconscious or comatose colleagues fed through intravenous venous strip so basically i think she did this to herself basically to keep her alive Alterations, methods on how to make room for additional payload after the casing has been constructed and left. Delta. And this is it. The Ark. Let's go on an adventure. To the stars and beyond. No way I can climb a ladder while carrying the Ark like this. Shit. Well, I guess I have to jump. And no, no way to carry extinguisher. So our our reunion was very, 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 very quickly over. But let's uh, let's check the cabin of uh, Mr. Ross. Journal. I was hoping to see Omicron today. The evacuation ordered by the people at Theta was a gift, an excuse to leave Alpha and abandon the WoW. As the storm cleared, we were swarmed by monsters that the WoW had facilitated. We were ambushed and forced back towards Tau. Lazarkovsky... Quetzi? Something like that? And I survived. Alclair is in the infirmary, but it doesn't look good. Quetzi made a run for it to check observation for anything resembling food. Going outside is beyond dangerous. It's like going to buy cigarettes in a hurricane. She came back and she had some crumbs with her. We all knew it was empty. I think she just wanted to wanted a a chance to die without carrying the responsibility of taking it herself. People from the plateau showed up. It was a group of engineers from Theta calling us that they wanted to use the Omega space gun and launch something called the Ark. It's an artificial world that carries brain scans made from people working at Pathos 2. The idea is silly but endearing. We all agreed to do a scan so we could take part in the afterlife. Some of the engineers returned from Phi. Apparently they postponed the Ark launch. They were all in a very foul mood and difficult to get any straight answers from. Except for one very important thing, they all wished to remain at Tau to figure this arc business out, but they had scheduled the climber to pick them up tomorrow. Someone would need to catch that climber to alert Omicron to what was happening. Luckily, Glasser and I were able to take on this mission. 
I will finally get to warn Dahl and Sarang about the critical situation at Site Alpha. And then a whole bunch of recordings! The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Okay, so this is basically about the development of WoW and how WoW became the caretaker of the the uh, post-apocalyptic world. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. Wasn't the WoW's, like, mission to keep everyone alive? So, uh, you know, when you suddenly have, like, what, a couple billion people just suddenly vanish? You know, a an AI might want to re-evaluate its strategies. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos 2, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron. Well, that's that's certainly something. Cool. I guess we got we just gotta take this thing. Yeah, that's, that's the core then, and it's just expanding. Cool. Okay, well, let's take this this damn thing downstairs, and... Um, and... Um, let's get the show on the road. Bathroom, not dispatch. Dive room. Can't climb, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Hopefully it's not a long walk. Waiting for cargo. Oh. Right. Attach that thing. Ah, there we go. And how about config? Configuration. Okay. Swipe. Filling airlock. Okay, let's go. Let's get the orc up in space. I think this airlock is not going to hold. Kind of seems like it's uh, falling apart a little. Sequence halted, unable to equalize pressure. Can I just like break it? Pressure different. Okay, well that's that's the difference then. Can I just break this shit? Ah, oh, there we go. That ought to do. Do I need to break it more? It's not filling up. Ah, oh, right. There we go. Need more? I can break more stuff if you want. 
tell me what to break and I'll break it. What more do you want me to break? There's not a whole lot in here. Do I need to break the door next? Okay, where the hell do we find more pipes and stuff to break? This damn thing doesn't seem to want to cooperate. God damn it, just force the door open, we are fine. There we go. That was a sneaky pipe. Okay. Let's get... Yep, there we go. Let's go. Keep going. Right behind you. Come on. No point wasting time in this goddamn tunnel. Okay, now you're speeding up. Don't tell me that something is following me. That would be unfair. Oh, damn it. Who's yelling? Is there another way I need to take? God damn it. Take it easy. How about, you know, you chill out and let me do my thing? Scaring the crap out of me won't help me do your stuff. Oh. I'm guessing we're going towards the WoW core. Or the WoW core. I suppose we might as well have the flashlight on. I don't think anyone is going to mind. Also, Simon, you could you could you know stop being out of breath because I don't think you have breath. You have a corpse inside of you, true, but that corpse is most definitely not breathing. So you might as well stop breathing as well. Okay, so this is where the WoW is. 
Yeah, Alpha. And it's... I guess WoW we'll needs some, uh, some, uh, pretty hefty, uh, information, uh, communication cables. And this, funnily enough, the system, or the, the, uh, the station, where WoW is held is the one that has the most broken electronics. I guess I guess WoW may have just you know redirected all of the power here to serve its needs. Luckily, we are a very very powerful diving suit. I guess monitors don't really need to exist when you are an AI. But safety first. A little bit a little bit more. Almost. Do I need to go that way, or do I need to go this way? Also, I would like to point out, wow, uh, you're not supposed to kill me. If you kill me, you're acting directly against your protocol. So, don't kill me, please. I know, I know. Just tell me what you want. What you really, really want. What? How? What are you talking about? I must drive and see. This toxin inside of me can kill the wow altogether. You are the snake, son. Now strike at the heart. Sure thing. I mean, a malfunctioning AI might as well kill it, right? Well, it's not really malfunctioning, is it? It's just not doing what you're like hoping it would do. And this is one thing about like AIs. When you when you make like neural networks or, and stuff like that, you kind of need to be really specific about your goals and how you want to achieve them, or otherwise the neural network is just going to figure out a way to achieve its goals efficiently. And you have no idea how that might happen. Like you have no idea how it came to that conclusion, but it did. And it might not be the action you might want it to take. So, um, you know, just, just for the AI programmers out there, be very careful about what you make your things do. Hello there, Bob. I mean, whoever. Sure, that sounds fun. Uh, uh. It, 
Is that my blood? Oh, I have no arm. And I, I, I must... I must... Clap. Why? The only way to make sure that Wow stays dead is to destroy the only one who's immune to the new pattern. No. Don't I'll make it quick. Please don't. Oh God. Holy. Okay. I think it's uh it's time to go. Um. Yep. Yep. Definitely. Definitely time to move. Nope. Nope. Not 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 really into this whole thing. Wow. How about you just get lost? Okay. Nope. How did I get turned around so bad? Ah, oh, healing. Good old healing. Also, please, if 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 you fishies start going crazy, I don't like it. So please stop. Please do not, do not go cray cray. Now is not good time. Oh fuck! What? Why? What made you the freaking killer? All of a sudden. Do I hit? I still have legs, right? So we're all good. Okay, we're going, we're going. I, I, I don't I don't give a fuck that, that fish is that fish is dead to me. I don't think it's even a fish, it's like a worm. With made with structured gel and nonsense. Yep, go away. Get the fuck away from here. I have stuff to do. And you are not going to be part of my plans. Go 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 This has to be Fi, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. Hope there are no other creatures. Okay. Oh, we can activate Catherine. Chris, what the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the arc, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. Sure thing. 
Let's not uh, let's not worry about my arm anymore. It's it looks kind of bad, but it's it's probably fine. Launch dome. That's probably not where it is. Loading dock. That that seems like it. Ah, but mm, I don't think this is it because we would have to, you know. Did you find out what happened to the arc team? No, service no. area. Maybe reason, that's. They didn't go it. through with the launch, so they took the arc back to Tau. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Service area. Hmm. I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. Power relay. Uh, that's probably some puzzle stuff. Uh, storage and is this a bathroom? Okay, yeah, this is not what I was looking for, but it's fine. Just put your hand in there and you'll be fixed right up. There we go. The world looks a little bit more normal now. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments to me. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m. But I don't remember when we started. No, I don't want to go here. This is This is not good. Okay, so that's the service area, that's the diving room. A whole bunch of nothing. Let's check the launch dome. Sounds like a riddle. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. Who am I? Who am I? I can swipe the Omnitool here, but obviously Omnitool is not usable right now, and I don't think I can like just grab it. Okay, well let's uh, let's go into the landing dock and let's see if it's there. No time for waiting. Must I must go fast. I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. No much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Huh. I changed my mind about the art. Corpses. we keep it down here. Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project. My arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the Ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. Oh. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine. Oh shit, they killed Catherine, and this is Catherine. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you. Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the arc. Right, I'll go pick it up. Okay, let's just figure out where that is. Is it this one? Nah, that's that's something else. How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. Oh. They didn't want to risk launching the arm. Thought it might the okay, that's that's they energy. We can figure that stuff out later. They were just trying to stop you from launching. Oh, hey, look here. Not it? I guess not. 
Oh. How could they kill me? Requires yeah. power. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Okay, we need to we need to just quickly grab a power cell. Power is some more important stuff. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> Here it is. We got the arc back. Good job, Simon. Take it to the assembly space and load the bullet. Do you think the arc will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky. We just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. Makes sense. Okay, we're ready. You want to fire this thing? Okay, I guess I need more power. Okay, give me that cell. Thank you. Now this is what it has come to. Now we're running around with a single power cell powering everything. Definitely drives home the point that we only have a couple of decades of power down here. Whereas what will you do when you get space has infinite power. First thing? Make sure they are to save, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. What's the first human thing you can do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so. Damn. Payload loaded. Closing bay. We're ready for space. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Boom. We're ready for space. That, 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 that arm. Okay. When are we going to launch? Uh, site map. Storage. Cool. OS. Yeah, I, I don't need, I know, I don't need baby instructions. That's tunnel transport. Stuff activity launching the arc one last visit okay cool launch log so these are the different things that were launched and of course the uh, After 10 years of impeccable operation of the sp uh, Omega space gun will shut down, but it took an apocalypse to be made redundant. Cool stuff. Hey, let's get this. Uh, let's get this show on the road. This is where we're going, right? I, I need to now grab you. Now we just need to get the shell onto the gun, and then kaboom! Aren't you forgetting something? How are you going to get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, uh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Boom. Let's go.
Yeah, let's go. We have we have a space gun to catch. Oh, there we go. Well, this sure doesn't look like. Oh, that, never mind. There's the space gun. Is this it? Oh, I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Okay, let's go. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I think I can figure this one out. Okay, cool. And now we just need to load that thing into there. I don't think we can load it sideways. Oh, good. Well, that was easy. And then, uh, where's the where's the trigger? How do I how do I go boom? Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But yep. We need to transfer our minds to the arc. We also need to make sure it launches at all. So I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Okay, we're sure. Beep beep. Let's go into space. I will wait for post credits. Don't worry. Time. Twenty seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. Okay, Catherine is uploaded. Ten seconds. And Nine. obviously my upload is going to take like ages. Seven. You idiot, Simon. You idiot. Nothing. Nothing. They're out there, among the stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. There's no coin toss. Just like Simon and Omar Khan, just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. Uh, this is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are out there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. No, 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 no. Fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking Oh, then. It's a critical failure. Okay, well, Catherine? Catherine is dead. Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? 
Yeah, basically there is no there is no coin toss. Like, you will never be transferred over. You are always going to be the one that loses that one. It's a copy and paste, not a cut and paste. Well, that was an experience. Well, Nest Chan, the monsters, like, they are not, they are like, like Raisin said, the monsters are not tied to WoW. Um, they are basically just monster, like, they are human mimes in, like, robot bodies and whatnot that are just completely crazy because they are not compatible. Like, WoW was not controlling any of the monsters, the monsters were just failed attempts at creating life. And basically, they went insane because they were such failures, and that's why they kind of want to kill Simon, because they're just, you know, they have no, like, they're just insane, basically. So, like, even if WoW is dead, the monsters are still going to be there, so basically Simon is just dead, like, th that's Simon. And there is nobody to turn off that Simon. So basically, that Simon got the worst, worst possible hand. Huh. Which is funny, because he only has one hand now. It was the right hand though, so, you know. It, it wasn't that bad, but still. But, then again, there is also the Simon that got dealt the good hand in all of this. Yep, stand up Simon. Whoa. Is this... did it work? Yeah, well, let's uh, let's go outside and smell the ashes and figure this stuff out. Oh, this sure does look different. To Pathos 2. Now we can frolic on the fields of friendship forever. Yay. The question is how many brain scans are here? Up. Oh. I see glitches. The arc is not stable. Yep, see? See? Glitches. Welcome! If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the ARC. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel... better than before. 
because before was a a diving suit. How would you describe your mental condition? I think at this point there is no other way to, than to answer altered. Nah, I feel normal. This is a normal Tuesday for me. It's not a Tuesday. It's it's a Friday. It's not even a Friday. It's it's Saturday now. I think I should have maybe answered differently. How would you describe your senses? As expected. There, well, there there was a little bit of glitchiness. Maybe I should have mentioned that. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? And eh, it's fine. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Do I not care or do I feel fine? I guess I feel fine. How do you perceive your new existence? It's a direct continuation from my previous self. Which is kind of weird. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Is there less meaning or more meaning? I mean, you're stuck on a... like, in a VR space. So, like... Less meaning, I guess? Like, there's not a... like, there's a... there, there are physical limitations as to what you can do now. And you're just living here for, like, eternity. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Maybe. I need to think about it. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. I don't think that's going to help anyone. I don't, I think, I don't think there are any developers anymore. I mean, the developers back on Earth, they are most definitely not... You know, they, they are not even in existence anymore. Not to mention, I don't think they would be able to, you know, make any changes to the arc anyway, so... Like... Meh. Unless you develop it from the inside, uh, from inside the arc. I mean, yeah, that's a thing, I suppose. But why, why would you do like surveys, though? There's no need for surveys. Also, how fast do we like? Like, how fast do we think now? Like, how many seconds? per each like experience second passes like do we do we think slower like we obviously perceive everything yeah. normally but like is is life moving slower for us so basically we are like what might be a decade to us is maybe like a millennia or something i don't know basically my question is how long has catherine here been waiting for us to actually get uploaded onto the arc Anyway, let's let's go meet up with Catherine. Catherine, I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Everything's all right on the orbit of a planet that has been dead for so long now.
Okay. So basically, that was Soma, and it's, it has even grayed out the continue because, like, there's no point in us continuing from where we left off. And yes, the, the phase is complete. It's Catherine. So I think that is, like, one of the few cases where I've actually played through a horror game. Uh, of course, this is Frictional's, like, probably tamest work. But it is also the first Frictional game that I've, uh, I've played through. Never played through Amnesia, never played through Penumbra. And probably won't play through them. <laughs> 